Hello students. Today we are going to start one more new chapter by name plants. So previous of this chapter we had studied the chapter how do plants make food. So in that we come across about the kitchen house of the plant that is about the leaf structure of leaf its function and we also studied about the importance of plants and interdependence between the plants and animals. But in this chapter, we will study all about plants. So as we see, so many types of plants around us, isn't it? But not all the plants will be present in all the areas. Right? Different plants will be present in different areas depending upon their habitat. Now, how they are dependent and what are the types of plants? Let us study. So this chapter in your in your textbook will be present on the page number two hundred and thirty. So let us know the first type of plant that is terrestrial plants. I will repeat terrestrial plants. Now you people just stay along with me. Terrestrial plants. Now what does it mean this terrestrial plants? So plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plants. The plants that grow on land they are called as terrestrial plants. So you have seen some of the plants in water also, some of the plants in the uh, land also, right? So the plants which are present on the land, which are present in the, which are grown in the soil, that type of plants will be called as terrestrial plants. Okay? Now, even in terrestrial plants, there are so many types of plants again divided. So not all the uh, our earth, the land, it's not the same in all the side, right? So there are different types of land, different types of soil. So based on the types of the land surface and based on the types of the soil present, even the plants will grow accordingly. So now let us first uh, see what are the types of plants present based on their habitat. Habitat means the place where the plants survive. Okay. So now the first type will be plants growing on plains. So some plants they will grow on plains. So next, some plants growing on their mountains. Next, plants growing in deserts. Plants growing in marshy area and plants growing in coastal area. So these are the five types of terrestrial plants based on their habitat. It is based on their uh, growing form on the lands. Now we will study in detail about one by one about these plants. Even we will see, I will also see about the examples. So take out your explanation book, note on these points also, and also now the upcoming video slides also, which I will show you now. The information which will be present, which will be highlighting on the video also, that one also you have to note it. Okay? So listen carefully and do not all the our environment is full of wonderful plants growing in different places. Mountains and hills, grasslands and plains, even deserts. Did you know that there are some plants that grow on the surface of lakes while some others grow on the seabed deep in the sea? In other words, Plants can be found anywhere on the earth. The natural surroundings in which a living thing, that is animal or plant, lives, feeds and reproduces is called its habitat. The survival and growth of plants depend upon the climate, weather conditions and soil of the place. Plants of a particular region have special features that help them survive in their natural habitat. The process of developing certain features to suit one's environment is called adaptation. That is why we find certain plants in a particular area but not in another. Let us learn how plants adapt to the climatic conditions in their habitat in order to survive. Terrestrial plants 
Plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plants. They get their name from the Latin word terra, meaning land. Terrestrial plants grow on different landforms such as mountains and hills, deserts and plains, grasslands and wet marshy places. Plants growing on mountains and hills. Plants that grow on mountains and hills get ample sunlight and rain. Trees that grow on snow-capped mountains are tall and are shaped like a cone so that the snow slides off their branches quite easily. These trees are therefore called coniferous trees. Coniferous trees do not shed all their leaves during any particular period of the year. They are also generally evergreen, that is, green all through the year. Such plants show the following features. They are generally tall, straight and shaped like a cone. Their leaves have a waxy coating to protect them from the snow. Moreover, their needle-like leaves help the snow to slide off. Thus, such plants and trees are able to bear the extremely cold conditions on the mountains. These plants are mostly flowerless and have cones with seeds inside them. Some examples are pine, spruce, cedar and fir. Plants in deserts Deserts are barren, that is dry, regions with very little rainfall. As such, they experience a very extreme climate, very hot during the day and very cool at night. Because of the extreme weather and poor rainfall, there is not much vegetation. Very few plants grow in deserts. These plants adapt themselves to the desert climate. Cacti are an excellent example of plants that adapt to desert climate. Some features of desert plants are the leaves are modified into spines to prevent loss of water by evaporation. These also help the plants to protect themselves from animals. Some desert plants have thick and fleshy leaves and stems which help them in storing water as well as in photosynthesis. Some desert plants have roots spreading wide near the surface while others have those that go deep into the ground in search of water. Plants growing in plains Plains are wide and fairly warm regions. Some areas in the plains experience a hot and wet climate while in some others it rains all through the year. Naturally, plants growing in different areas of the plains adapt themselves to their immediate environment. Useful plants growing in the plains include cereals, fruits, vegetables and other crops. Winters are suitable for growing food crops like wheat, and vegetable crops like carrot, radish, turnip, cabbage and cauliflower. Ladyfinger, gourd and cucumber are grown in plains during summers. Terrestrial plants growing in plains have well-arranged leaves 
to take in necessary sunlight. Also, a thin waxy layer on these leaves prevents them from drying out, especially during summers. The roots of these plants are also well developed so as to obtain essential nutrients and water from the soil. Some trees growing in plains lose all their leaves in winter and begin to grow new leaves in summer. Such trees are called deciduous trees. People, Gulmohar, Mulberry, Poplar and Shisham are some deciduous trees. Teak and coconut trees grow in the hot and wet areas of the plains and are evergreen. They do not shed all their leaves at a particular time. Plants in grasslands Grasslands are vast areas largely covered with grasses with few or no trees. About one-fourth of the earth's land area is covered with grasslands. These areas do not receive much rainfall and the climate is hot and humid. The lower part of the grass remains rooted in the ground and germinates in the rainy season when it receives rain. Plants in marshy areas A marsh is a type of wetland that is mostly submerged in water. Such an area is usually found near the meeting point of rivers and oceans. The soil is sticky but not always clay. It also has high salinity, that is high salt content and therefore holds water for a long time. The plants that grow in marshy areas are called mangroves. The soil being covered with water does not allow air to reach the roots of the plant. Therefore, these roots adapt to this condition by growing upward and taking in the air from the atmosphere instead of taking from the soil. Such roots are thus called breathing roots. Okay student, that was about today's class. The further content in the next class we will study about